This German celebrity claims that if you place an onion in every room of your home, it will miraculously protect you from the new coronavirus. Bogus claims like these are not only wrong, but also very dangerous. What can you do to avoid contracting the new coronavirus? And how do you know if you're infected? Many people all over the world are asking themselves these two questions. Unfortunately, the internet is teeming with bogus answers, in part because playing on people's fears can be a lucrative business. These products, for example, supposedly help against infection. This is clearly nonsense and tremendously dangerous too by giving people the feeling they're protecting themselves when in fact they're not. All this shows us how important it is to take everything we see on social media with a pinch of salt. Right now, corona-related stories are bound to get views, no matter how fabricated their content. And some people don't seem to mind spreading misinformation. So let's have a look at five of the most widely spread myths out there. Myth number one, the Corona self-check test. A widely circulated social media post claims there's a Corona self-check test to see if you've contracted the virus. The post falsely claims that if you can hold your breath for 10 seconds without feeling discomfort or coughing, you don't have a fibrosis and therefore no infection. Pulmonary fibrosis is a lung disease that occurs when lung tissue becomes damaged and scarred. But holding your breath is no reliable way to test if you contracted the coronavirus. Virus infections can certainly irritate airways and fibrosis patients will likely struggle to hold the breath for 10 seconds. But none of this proves or disproves you've contracted the new coronavirus. Myth number two. Drink a glass of water every 15 minutes. Another rumor claims that by drinking a glass of water every 15 minutes, you can flush the virus from your mouth and throw it into your stomach, where it is killed by stomach acid. There's no evidence to suggest drinking fluids has ever helped against a virus infection. But even if this were effective, viruses can still enter the human organisms through our eyes and nose. So staying well hydrated is certainly no protection. Myth number three. High temperatures kill the virus. A third myth claims the coronavirus isn't heat resistant, as it has not been prevalent in hot regions, and that it can supposedly be killed when exposed to 26 degrees Celsius or higher temperatures. Especially shocking, the fake news creators use the label UNICEF, implying the information is published by the United Nations Children's Fund. But this claim is easy to disprove. The virus infects human organisms, which have a body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. And clearly, the virus appears to thrive at this temperature. That means it makes little sense to take extremely hot baths or scorching hot drinks. Myth number four, garlic kills the virus. It has been claimed that eating garlic can cure the coronavirus infection. In traditional Chinese medicine, garlic's medical properties have long been recognized. Garlic does have an antimicrobial effect and is believed to relieve the symptoms of mild colds. But in a study from 2014, the curative effect of garlic could not be conclusively established due to a lack of clinical data. So there's also no evidence that garlic alleviates, let alone cures, COVID-19 infections. Myth number five, any face mask protects. Some posts claim that coronavirus particles are 400 to 500 nanometers in size and therefore so large that any mouth guard can protect against infection. In fact, the virus is smaller, between 50 and 200 nanometers. Simple surgical masks are of very limited help. As soon as they get wet, they must be replaced. They are also only effective if they are worn without any openings. The WHO recommends that healthy people only wear masks when dealing with sick people. Wearing masks is also dangerous in that it gives a false sense of security. Because if you feel safe, you become careless and may even put others at greater risk. What can we learn from all this? Always check the accuracy of any information from social media, especially in times of crisis. Double check so-called facts. There are many places that offer extensive and trustworthy information, for example, the World Health Organization. 
you can find the link to the WHO in the video description. Have you come across a blatant hoax lately? Let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. On that note, stay healthy. Bye. One, two.